welcome to my video, which is called Rolling and Getting Up Onto One Foot. Bit of a strange title, but the idea of it is um, when we roll, we're getting up onto one foot instead of coming up to two or your knee or whatever. Now, um, to first start this, you need to, to practice this, this little exercise, really. So, all you need to do is strengthen your legs up a bit because all ninjutsu is from the waist down, as you know. So, we're here, getting up onto one leg. Now what you want to do is you want to get to this like this. So you put the supporting leg up by your buttocks, like that. And the idea is you lean, put your head forward over your supporting leg so you can to balance yourself. I'll try and do it slowly. When you first start, you want to use your arms to raise yourself up and you can bring it into posture. So here, here, raise up posture. Now obviously you want to twist the foot around. But I get sticks. I get stuck to the floor here on this particular matting. Um, but you want to turn the foot around so you can get in your posture properly. Right, here we go again. Lie down. Up. Raise. Into one leg. Takes a little bit of practice this. This is this is advanced rolling by the way. Um, um, if you're watching this video and you don't know how to do a forward roll properly, you need to start looking at those videos first. This is an advanced video. Right, and um, one more time. Here. Raise the arms up. On one leg. Arms forward, head forward. Push up, supporting leg. Posture. Okay, practice that first. I'm now going to go on to a bit more in the video now, and you can see what advantages this has, and the reason why I'm doing this silly exercise, if you like, and you'll see. Enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. Right, what I'm attempting to do here is I'm trying to do a forward roll without stepping forwards. Because um, when people do forward rolls normally, they normally step forwards and uh, I'm trying to avoid that on this particular video, so people don't know where I'm going. So it's a um, little bit of deception with this, and it surprises your opponent as well. <coughs> I'll, give, I'll give an example of a normal forwards row. Notice the foot stepping forwards off the centre here. Stepping forwards. Okay, in this particular video, what we're doing, what I'm trying to do is try, want to try to avoid this. So again, the basic row again. Just, just uh, just so you understand what I'm talking about here. So, slowly, the foot comes forward. That's on a normal row. Now your opponent's going to be expecting this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go off a clock face. So we're not going to go straight ahead. At, say for it's 12 o'clock, we're going to avoid 12 o'clock. We're going to go off at the other side of the clock face. Like 9, or 3, or 6, and so on. Okay? Okay, let's give this a go. Here. So I'm not off at the front, I come off at the sides. So my opponent's expecting me to turn up there, but I'm not, I'm off onto his flank, or 45 degree from him, so I can attack. To here I went that time. Okay. I'll give you another example. This time I come up in the bear posture, so I'm on his flank, ready to strike. This 
time I've come back on myself to give me distance to assess the situation. So I'm not going over here, I'm coming back on myself. 